<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Joshua Gillespie, and these are some important rules. Joshua, I need to tell you something. Not now, Wallace. But it is urgent. Don't scream at me, Wallace. When you do that, I get nervous, and then I panic. And believe me, the last thing we want for me to do is panic. If it's really that important, it can wait. <clears throat> and where was I? Oh yes, important rules. Firstly, when viewing this video, please watch to as far to the end as possible. Stopping in the middle is distinctly unpatriotic. Secondly, do not... Wow! What are you doing? I was just showing how you could trip if you walked with your 3D glasses on. Would you stop this foolishness? What foolishness would you like to see? Why are you even here? There isn't even any 3D in this video. What? But, but, but this is supposed to be a special episode. I even got the rest of the characters here. Wallace, just tell me. Where is Sid? That's what I've been trying to tell you. What? Sid isn't here. He's not even answering his phone calls. Uh, um, well, that's okay. You know, I've got at least three hours to prepare, so nothing to worry about. You got a minute and a half. Oh boy. Sid's not here, and I need to find a game, oh, oh, uh, oh, this job's too hard! What is that? The Muppets CD-ROM, Muppets Inside. Well, I'm not sure. Looks a little... seedy. It's not like you have anything better to do. That's true. Muppets Inside was produced by Starwave for the PC in 1996. So, just before Muppets Tonight made its debut. Exactly. And that means that the only newer character that you see is Clifford. And thankfully, the game is more child-friendly. No Spamala? <laughs> no. I don't think they would have gotten an E rating with that. Hello? Well, look who finally decided to show up. I am so sorry I was late, but now I am here and I am Sid, sidekick of JG Reviews. Sid, are you alright? Your voice sounds a little funny. Oh, I, I have a little cold. Well, I guess I'll go then. Oh, okay, um... See ya. Yes, goodbye, little orange friend. Yeah. Now, what game are we revolving on your show? It's a PC game called Muppets Inside. Oh, I love the Muppets. Uh, okay. Well, let's take a look at the story. Yes, let us do that, Joshua. Let us go on little reviewing adventure where we see how well the game has held up after all of these years. With funny jokes throughout. The story is, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew accidentally digitizes the Muppets and traps them inside the player's computer. It's a dream come true! It is your dream? Well, I mean, it, it's just a joke. Joshua, dreams are nothing to joke about. Remember, I can give you what you want. Well, that's nice of you to say, Sid. Only Statler and Waldorf and Rizzo are still on the outside. So, helping out Kermit and Fozzie save their friends, the player travels around the bitmap on a data bus playing minigames. Along the way, you also collect Muppet props and clips from The Muppet Show. From the moment the Muppets first break your computer... Do you need repair it? What? No, it's just how the game starts. But it's broken! It's just an effect. It'll go away now. Shut up, Sid! So, from the very beginning, the writing in this game is, 
actually pretty good. It's funny. It's time to boot the disc up. It's time to turn stuff on. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet CD-ROM. It's time to test the hard disk. It's time to check the com. And has loads of inside jokes and references. That doesn't mean every joke is a knee slapper, but nothing made me groan outside of maybe one or two of Statler and Waldorf's comments. Totally unwatchable. <laughs> Actually, they were even unwatchable before we mixed them up. If you can unscramble the image, you win. But you'll be forced to watch the entire clip before you can go. <laughs> <laughs> However, unlike Muppets Tonight, Muppets Inside doesn't feel like a product of the 90s. And this also isn't a short game. It's almost like an interactive Muppet movie. Or at least a TV special taking you up to four hours to complete. Speaking of which, let's talk about the gameplay. Sid, you want to handle this? What? I, 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 uh, uh, I, 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 I don't think he's feeling very good today. So, I think I'll just talk about the gameplay. At the beginning of the game, you choose your difficulty. I chose adult. Then you enter your name and your birthday for some reason. Maybe on your birthday they sing to you, oh my gosh, today is now my birthday. Well, happy birthday! It's not my birthday! And finally, you pick a Muppet to represent yourself. Muppets Inside is comprised of different mini games. Some are fun. Some, not so much. Please explain, Joshua. I was going to. Proceed then. First, you have two games where you have to unscramble puzzles to watch a Muppet Show clip. Thankfully, they are both unique in their own way. Then, there are two games that are blatant parodies. But that is what Muppets do best, right? Well, one of the things they're good at, yes, one of the games is a parody of Hollywood Squares, and the other is Name That Tune, each with a Muppety spin. Okay, the game is played just like basketball, except you're trying to get three X's in a row and you don't wear sneakers, sweat, or talk trash. Hmm, come to think of it, maybe it's more like tic-tac-toe. There's one game where you have to launch Gonzo out of a cannon to hit a target and a laughably bad knockoff of Missile Command where you shoot vegetables and other objects before they hit Fozzie. How can something be bad but still be laughable? Well, it's entertaining in just how poor it is. Now, there have been games before that have just been blatant parodies of other games and often they just do whatever they can to mock the game, but end up failing miserably. Those games cannot give you what you want, but I can. I'm ignoring you now. But Muppets Inside does it right. It has that charm, that wittiness, and that self-awareness that only the Muppets have. Also, how can you not love a game where you have a Doom parody where you're the sweetest chef killing food with a whisk? Genius! As the game continues, you'll have to replay some of the same mini-games. Some people may see this as a negative, but they are wrong. They should appreciate the hard work and time that goes into making these. Okay. There's a decent amount of variety, and they do become a little more difficult as you get further in the game. And there's a good amount of things to find outside of the minigames, such as several songs sung by rats, including one, including a pretty funny one, including a pretty funny one about Jim Henson's trademark enforcement. Roll out the notice. The copyright notice is here. Roll out the notice. Yeah. A 
Billy, Pixie, and a Spear. Let's go get it, Buggy! Roll out the notice. Copyright 1995. Find a company known as Starway. The best code hackers are alive. Overall, the gameplay is quite enjoyable. Yeah, the mini games aren't anything special, but they are fun, right? Yes, but they could get repetitive to casual players. And if you're a hardcore Muppets fan, you'll have a few good laughs at just how silly it all is and won't mind playing them multiple times. You know, you do such a wonderful job talking about these things. Uh-huh. You deserve reward. So, here is a brand new Nintendo Wii U. Oh my god! Thank you, Sid. I've really wanted this. I'm sorry I've been yelling at you. It's alright. Just remember, Joshua. I can give you what you want. Alright. When it comes to Muppet games, the presentation is one of the most important parts. So, Sid, how well does Muppets Inside hold up? The graphics are a combination of full motion video and animated GIFs. The FMVs actually look very good, especially for the 90s when game was made. Nothing like the Wing Commander, but high quality nonetheless. As Joshua said, it make the game feel like interactive Muppet movie. The only downside is that when it's not a video, the game looks... bad. What do you mean? It still look like Muppets? Yes, but they look like they're just simply swapping out two pictures to give it the look of movement. And it comes off looking pixelated and quite blurry in some areas. As for sound, the Muppets are all voiced by their respective performers. It's got good jokes. Isn't that all you need? Well, yeah, it's nice hearing something original, but a lot of lines get repeated. On the music side, there isn't much. But who care when you have such funny dialogue? Actually, it's a shame there's not a lot of music, since Muppet Monster Adventure had such a great soundtrack. You mostly just hear stuff from the Muppet Show. Overall, the presentation is very hit and miss. You make it sound like it's very bad. Instead of knocking it for what it is now, why not embrace what once was? Well, I try to do both. I think. This is not your battle duty or crisis, dogs. It was made for old computers. Well, actually, I'm glad you brought that up. Because there's one problem I haven't discussed yet. If you're on a newer operating system, like I am, the game will either crash often or fail to work at all. Why? If something worked before on older technology, why not now? That's something I've wondered, but this is a common issue for old games such as Grim Fandango, and I addressed a similar problem during that review. I actually had to find an older PC just to play Muppets inside, because unlike Fandango, there exists no patch to fix this problem. This is no problem. What? Sometimes, if you want to get stuff done, you have to work for it. So what if it doesn't work for older computers? If you want to play the game, then you should be willing to do whatever it takes to play it. Well, Sid, I disagree, and that's not the only problem that this game has. Overall, there's just not a lot to say about Muppets Inside. The story is unique, and I really enjoyed it. The minigames? Yeah, they're cute little parodies, and most are fun the first time, but even with the variety, you're still playing the same minigames multiple times. The little things to find are neat, but don't add anything significant. The writing is good for a Muppets game, but it's hard to enjoy it when your computer won't let you. 
I really liked Muppets Inside, and I'm glad I experienced it, but this is a game that I feel is better to watch than to actually play. You can find complete playthroughs of this game on YouTube, and that's what I suggest. Even though I enjoyed this game, and I love the Muppets so much, that's who this game is for, the hardcore Muppet fans. And with that, Muppets Inside should stay in the shadows. You said you liked the game. I, I did like the game. But you still threw it into shadows. Yeah, because, you know, it's got such a niche audience and... I mean, I said it's worth watching. Ugh, you are pathetic. What? All right, I've heard just about enough. Wallace? I thought you had left. I was in the kitchen. I heard everything. Something is wrong. That's right. I don't know what your problem is, but you are acting nothing like Sid today. That's because he isn't Sid. How did you escape? Dude, I woke up in my room. What? Number two. Why did he wake up in his room? The door had a lock on it, sir. What side was the lock on? Oh. What is going on? What is going on is I have fooled you. <laughs> I am Sergey, the world's most dangerous online criminal in the blue skin category. And I am sick of you JG reviewers. You make jokes when this reviewing is serious business. And I thought you would be serious, but instead you make drug references and jokes about big breasted pig. Oh, yeah, I did. But do you, that. you are the worst, Joshua Gillespie, because you let them get away with it. So, what are you going to do? Get me thrown in jail? No, I'm just going to knock you out. What? I'm sorry we didn't realize it was you. I mean, he did kind of sound like you. No, he didn't. Yeah. Well, he looks a lot like you. No, he doesn't. Well, I mean, he gave me a gift. Yeah, I have no idea how I thought it was you. That's okay. I'm very sorry. All that matters is I'm here now. You fools, you have not seen the last of Sergey. And let me tell you something, Joshua. You are going down a very dangerous path. And one day, you will find something that will make you realize why I was here. But until then, so long, folks. Hey! Well, that was something. Yeah, so now what? Josh? 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 Winds in the east, heat rolling in, for summer is brewing, about to begin. I can't put my finger on what lies in store, but I feel what's to happen has all happened before.